welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to America Truck Similar, guys. So we're gonna, be, we're gonna be doing another mod review today. Another mod truck review. What we do? This is the Freightliner FLD 120. I found this mod over on ModSize.com. And I gotta say, I've used this mod in the past, and it's come a long ways. The truck has really come a long ways from when the last time I used it. it um, the, the modder has uh, done a lot to the truck. And today we're going to be hauling some doubles. And we are hauling paint from um, Idaho Falls to Boise, Idaho. It's supposed to take us 9 hours and 20, 21 minutes to get there. Total job is $30,000. And I'll show you everything about the truck once we uh, drop our load. But here I can show you the inside. Here's the inside of the truck. Good looking old Freightliner truck. It looks really good. Uh, one thing I did notice about this truck that I've noticed about a lot of modern trucks, it has a working axle. Uh, it has the, the working um, suspension and where you can actually uh, raise and lower your suspension. So hats off to the modern for, you know, for taking the time to do that and make it work. There's a lot of the modded trucks out there, and I understand why. It, it is a lot of work. Um, I would never put down a modder. Uh, they, they do an awesome job. But there's a lot of modded trucks out there that don't have it. So, hats off, you know, to him for taking the time to actually have that and make it work. Been a while since I hauled any doubles. Get us a thumbnail, we get on down the road a little bit here. Turn right. Hope you guys are doing well. I do appreciate everyone been coming out and watching the live streams. I did do a live stream of this truck. Uh, I understand it was during the day and there wasn't the, you know a lot of people wasn't around. So I understand that, that's okay. So the day the trucks run at Detroit Diesel, 600 horsepower, with an 18-speed eating full transmission. Turn left. Rocking a suspension mod. We got that a little rock going. One with the blue this time, it does come with a little bit of custom color creation there where you can make your own, uh, it comes with like a gray and white, like a, but I changed it to a blue and white. I wish you could really change the color of the stripe, you can't. I think it's some of these traffic mods. Go straight on. Might look at the traffic mods. Detroit, this is a little loud. pulling it to go straight 
straight on. Train don't come while we're on the track. Back here, our double trailer. We'll get a thumbnail when we uh, get on the interstate. I'm pretty sure we got to get on right that soon. And then turn right. thumbnail see if we can get it from this side bring this over a little bit like this bring it in just like that So we can get it up to speed. So I will show you all the modifications for this show at the end of the run. Like we do with every modded truck and what I actually think about it, if I do recommend it for anyone that's looking for a FLD model. Um, I know there is a FLC out there, but uh, it has not been updated for 1.4.5 and it does not work. I would like to seek it updated. It actually was a really nice truck, um, but it, has, it hasn't been updated. As of right now, it doesn't work. I've had uh, a couple of requests to do an FLC mod review. Well, uh, right now, uh, I have not found one that works for 1.4.5, so.
Love the rotator that's on that crown vic. Oh man, it looks so good. I believe you in trouble there, bud. You you lost your load of pipe. I don't do that all the time. I, I do it when I'm recording. And I'm I do apologize for the lag. I don't know where it's coming from. I played it last night and it was fine. Did not do that, so I'm gonna have to look at the mods. something with a chrome on the truck though y'all probably can see it well as I can like the sun visor and the uh the bug shield it's like you can see is it the like there's a chrome issue with them or they're trying to make it like where you can see the road uh Thank you. 
15, 14 miles ago. One thing about pulling double is you don't, you can't back them in this game. Being quiet, guys, so you can kind of hear the truck, listen to the sounds. Good son of Jake Bray. Keep right and then turn right.
turn right. I'm just kind of being quiet, guys. I know a lot of you guys, I've got uh, comments about they want uh, less talking in the videos. They want to hear more of the truck, more of the sounds of the game and stuff. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I try to be as quiet as I can. You know, unless we have something to talk about. get over. That's why I'm flowing down. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. So guys, what do, you, what do you guys think about Montana so far for you that play? I love it. I've just about completed the whole map up there. I think I got like two cities still left to discover up there. Um, but everyone I've been to, uh, you know, SCS, every map, you know, they're, they're doing such a good job. The realistic, the realism of the game, of the map is, which I've never been there, but I, you know, it it looks so. You just can't say, oh, no. You know, and, and I'm not praising what they do because I think they're a little bit slow on doing a lot of things, but, you know. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make sure we're not going to hit that red light. they're slow about doing a lot of things but I understand where they're coming from too in a way so you know that, that that's my opinion Problem is you won't be able to get the truck out. Yeah, there's no way.
We just do that. There's no way you'll be able to get the truck out, so. Ah, uh, you may be squeezed through there. I don't haul double much. I change the haul. I'll pull right over here, boy. Alright guys, so yeah, if you want to get this truck, like I said, this truck is on modsites.com. Uh, it has been updated for 1.4.5. Uh, are the 1.4.4 version works? Um, I haven't seen it. I think this one here is the 1.4.4 version. Uh, it still works, no issues. And it's a Freightliner FLD. I'll show you, and it's a 120. So we'll go ahead and show you all the customization options for the truck. In case you want to try it out for yourself. Yes, a Freightliner FLD 120 mid-room. It does have two types of uh, cab options. It has a mid-roof and a high-roof. You see there. One suspension, one chassis, the 6x4. It has anywhere from a Detroit diesel, 425 horsepower engine. Let's see, probably the highest one I'm going to see here is probably 720 on a Caterpillar C15 720 chip tune engine. Probably the highest one I see. Transmissions go from a 15 speed. And then you have an 18-speed Maxi Tour E EST 318 uh, transmission. You have two interiors. You have the standard interior. The only thing that changes is your shifter, custom shifter. That's your custom shifter, shifter, shifter. And then that's your standard shifter by default. Colors. You have all your basic colors. You have some templates here. Um, you see, that's actually good. I like that color too. Um, they have that. That one's not bad. This is what I was using. I just changed it. Went in here and done the silver like this, blue. Made that blue, and then, yeah, like that. Uh, this is a cream color. Multiple different colors here. All this works. It's your metallic colors. White. You have, set, you have ton, a lot of bumpers. You have your stock bumper. Stock bumper with chrome. You have a stock bumper. You can add the light options to it here. Chrome bumper. A uh, custom toned down bumper. A chicken bumper. A chicken bumper toned down. That actually looks pretty good on that truck. I actually like that one too. That would like be pretty cool. So you have a ton of options there. You have um, three grill covers, standard. The one with the teeth. All right, this goes up on your headlights. Dividers like that. This is your um, guard here. Like that, your mirrors. 
Yeah, you have a ton of options for the truck. If you want to check it out for yourself. Now, as far as wheels go, um, I use, uh, I do have Viper's uh, wheel pack installed. So I would have that. That's what I mostly use with all my trucks. Because those are cool. It just looks so good. Um, but yeah, you may not have that in your game. All right, guys. So that's gonna be uh it for the video. Uh, so what I think about the the Freightliner FD120 mine? Uh, I think it's an awesome truck. Um, it, like I said, it's come a long way since the first time it came out. Uh, first time I used it, it, it's really improved. The modder is doing an awesome job with it. Um, I don't use a lot of modded trucks. I don't use it much at all, so you know it's not something that that I would use a lot because it's just not my thing to use a modded truck. But you know, for any of you guys, I tell you that you're looking for a good Freightliner F120, you know, uh, FLD, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it's well done. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone for subscribing to the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.